So I did the monitor in the Merrimack in 1862, and this connects really well to Cooper's presentation on the Seven Days War and um, Seven Days Battle. The battle. <laughs> and it was also called Batter, Battle of Ironclads. And it was also fought in Virginia, uh, but this is more towards uh, the eastern side of Virginia on the coast. And it was fought uh, from March 8th to March 9th in 1862. And this area that it was fought in is called Hampton Roads, and it was off the coast of Virginia, though, so meaning this was a naval battle. It wasn't fought on land, it was fought um, on the water. And it was between the CSS Virginia, also known as CSS Merrimack, and the USS Monitor. And these were the two main um, ironclad ships that fought against each other, but then there were also little, um, smaller, not as important ships that helped uh, in the battle. And this was a southern effort to break the Union stronghold that stopped important Virginian cities like Norfolk and Richmond. This is Norfolk and that is Richmond and this is where the battle was fought. It helped, um, er, the North was stopping uh, cities, important cities in Virginia like this from importing, interna uh, trading internationally with other countries, um, and that really affected the southern economy, and so it was really important for the uh, Confederacy to get back their claim on this area right here, because they could not trade without it. And that battle ended in a stalemate, because um, it was the first, uh, sorry, the battle ended in Stable May because it was a combination between the armed equals and the CSS, um, the CSS Merrimack and the USS Monitor. This is what they looked like. But this was the first battle that was really um, fought, that really illustrated the impact of new technology in the Civil War and how that made both sides equal because they were using similar um, strategies and similar things to fight the war with, but it's not so important to <coughs> the people, the captains of the boat, and the captain of this, this was Franklin Buchanan, and this is John L. Warden, but it's really important to note that the, the tools used in this battle were, um, it was the first battle that used uh, revolutionizing naval, um, oh my gosh, uh, naval warfare weapons, like <laughs> the rifle, um, as well as this was a very primitive grenade, hand grenade. These are submarines, and this is called a observation balloon, and it was used to help observe um, enemies uh, from above, as well as telegraphs. And also, not necessarily used in this battle, but other um, that these three, one, or the hand grenade, the submarine, and the rifles were used in this battle, but they were some of the new technologies that were going to show up later in the Civil War. But most importantly, um, this battle was the first engagement between ironclad ships, and it illustrated that the Civil War was not going to be easy because both sides, the United Confederacy, were on equal terms. Um, for the most part, in terms of the weapons that they used.